Nina Ryman. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Ohio State University. Today, I'm going to talk to you about treating cancer patients who have comorbid depression. A cancer diagnosis and initiation of treatment can be incredibly stressful for patients, and this distress may become clinically significant if not addressed early. Depressive symptoms among cancer patients are quite common, with estimates ranging from 10 to 50%. These rates are troubling as depressive symptoms are associated with poor quality of life, greater fatigue, and increased symptom distress in cancer patients. Fortunately, there are a variety of psychological and behavioral interventions specifically designed for cancer patients. In this video, I'm going to talk about cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT, one of the primary psychological treatments for depression. Though often utilized in the general population, it has been adapted to use with cancer patients. CBT is typically delivered in 12 to 16 one-hour weekly sessions by a trained therapist or interventionist. Components of CBT include psychoeducation, progressive muscle relaxation training, behavioral activation, enhancing social support, cognitive reappraisal, improving communication skills, and goal setting. Now, I would like to go through these components in greater detail, as well as how they are incorporated in the first few sessions of treatment. The first session is very important, as it establishes the relationship between the patient and the therapist. Initially, the therapist will want to introduce themselves in a confident, reassuring, and positive manner. What follows should be an overview of the relationship between emotions and thoughts and behaviors, and how that relationship may have changed as a result of the patient's cancer diagnosis or treatment. The first session ends with progressive muscle relaxation training, which is aimed at lowering patient's physiological arousal. This, in turn, reduces patient's negative emotions or depressive symptoms, as well as physical concerns from cancer treatment, such as headaches or nausea. Progressive muscle relaxation involves learning how to tense various muscle groups throughout the body and release that muscle tension. Patients essentially learn to pay close attention to the feelings of tension and relaxation in their bodies. In session two, patients are introduced to behavioral activation. Patients start by filling out a monitoring log that tracks their activities for that day and the previous day. These monitoring logs provide an indication of activities patients have avoided since diagnosis or treatment. These activity logs also offer possibilities as to how activity can be increased. Practice and encouragement of filling out activity logs, practicing progressive muscle relaxation, and minimizing avoidant behaviors are reinforced throughout the course of treatment but are particularly emphasized in sessions two through four. The concept of social, social networks and the role that social support plays in reducing stress is explored in session five. Patients are asked to identify their social networks while distinguishing between those who provide emotional versus task support. Knowing how to leverage this support is vital for individuals struggling with a new diagnosis and with side effects of treatment. Additionally, cognitive reappraisal techniques may be introduced during the sixth session. This involves having patients complete thought records or documentation of automatic thoughts that may cause distress. Subsequently, a therapist may introduce the concept of alternative thoughts, which are thoughts that, are, that provide a different perspective than those are, that are generated automatically. Other techniques, such as problem solving, or practicing assertive communication strategies are introduced in later sessions. Once a patient has a solid grasp of previous treatment components, all of these treatment components are meant to serve as coping strategies for patients to utilize as they cope with their depressive symptoms and their disease. Thank you for watching.